Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. Uh, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to uh, what's called Coulomb's Law. And Coulomb's Law applies to what are called point charges. So I've got a picture of a couple of charges here. I've got one right here, right? another one right here. And we're going to assume in this example that these are point charges. Now what does a point charge mean? Well, it means that basically all the charge can be considered to be uh, either at one point in space or at least very, very close to a one point in space. So this, you know, what could this be? Well, a, a proton is an example of a point charge. Or perhaps this is an atom that's uh, missing some electrons so that it's ionized. And if we're a little ways from that, we can consider that a point charge. Or perhaps this thing is something like a golf ball, like a golf ball sized piece of matter that's missing a bunch of electrons. As long as we're quite a ways from the golf ball, we can consider that a point charge. And again, over here, same deal. Now, whatever the charge is on these two uh, point charges, it has to be some integer multiple of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. So this guy right here has a charge that I called Q1, and that has to be some number that I called N1 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs, because again, remember that the uh, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs is what's called the fundamental unit of charge. Again, whatever the charge this is, it has to be some other integer perhaps, uh, which I called n2 times the fundamental unit of charge. Now, in this example, I assume that they're both positively charged, but everything that I talk about basically uh, is the same, whether it's plus plus, plus minus, or minus minus, other than force directions. So, again, if these things are charged, then we know that there's going to be some sort of force between these. Because it's plus plus, that force would be a repulsive force. So I might draw force vectors here to represent those forces. So here's a force here. This would be the same force. Now, again, remember Newton's third law. Forces always appear in pairs. Those forces are always equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. So here's an example of that. This is a force pair. Now, these forces have to be the same magnitude and I, you know looking at my picture that means that the length of these vectors should be the same and it looks like maybe I got this one a little long so I'm not going to bother getting a ruler out here but at least by eyeball these should be of the same length to demonstrate that we believe they're the same magnitude All right, so I shorten that up just a little bit so what's called Coulomb's law is a mathematical law used for calculating this force right? Coulomb's law is an experimentally determined law uh, it's, there's no deriving it per se. And here's what Coulomb's law says. It says that the force between two particles is directly proportional to each charge. So I'll put charge one and charge two. And it's inversely proportional to the distance squared. So basically that means that the force is directly proportional to Q, the product of Q1, Q2 over D squared. And again, this is a symbol for uh, what's called direct proportionality. So if I write this in equation form, it looks like this. F equals some constant, which I'm just going to call k for the moment, times q1 times q2 over distance squared. And again, this is an experimentally determined law. And what that means is, you know, if I were to double this charge, the force would double, leaving this one the same. Or if I were to double just this charge, again, the force would double. If I were to double both of them at the same time, it turns out this force would be uh, increased by a factor of four and so forth. Now I'll talk about the distance. The distance ends up on the bottom. For starters, let me just say this. Hopefully it makes uh, physical sense that the further these are apart, the larger the distance this force would hence uh, fall off. If you've ever taken a pair of magnets in your hand and you got them kind of close to one another, you, you experience some sort of, although it's not a Coulomb force, but you experience what's called the magnetic force. And remember from uh, playing with those magnets, when you got the magnets really close, you should have felt a much larger force than when they're far apart. The reason it ends up being distance squared, well, that has to do with the spherical symmetry of the problem. And again, I'm going to save that for another video right now. Uh, I'm just going to say for now, the square is because it has spherical symmetry. Coulomb's law is used for calculating the Coulomb force on a charged particle. Now, in order to use it, we've got to know what this value is, k. All right? So this guy right here is called the Coulomb constant. It has a numerical value of 8.99 times 10 to the 9th 
Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. In my classes, I round this to 9 times 10 to the 9th all the time. I'll put approximately 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. And this is, uh, again, it's just a fundamental constant that uh, comes out of the mathematics of it. Now let me talk a little bit about the mathematical structure of this. If there are aliens somewhere, you know, in a galaxy far, far away, watching a similar video from a similar type of instructor, no doubt they've got some equation written down that fundamentally means the same thing. Whatever they measure for force is equal to some constant times the product of whatever, however they measure the charges over the distance squared. But our choice of units are based on observations here on Earth. So for example, you know, mass is defined a certain way, length is defined a certain way, um, time is defined, a, a, the second is defined a certain way. It is pretty much impossible that some sort of alien civilization would have chosen the same standards for measurement. So as a result of that, their constant here will have a different numerical value and no doubt it'll have different uh, unit quantities because they're going to call these different things but whatever they have here would represent force and then uh, distance squared and uh, overcharge squared. So this mathematical law is called Coulomb's law and it basically just says that you know the Coulomb force on a particle is directly proportional to both charges falls off with distance squared. This video is just meant to be an introduction uh, I think I'll save examples for another video have a great day.